Impact Wrestling presents Emergence, streaming live Sunday, August 27th. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a barbed wire six sides of steel grudge match. To win this contest, you must be the first competitor to escape the cage and have your feet hit the arena floor. Introducing first from Tampa, Florida, by way of Toronto, Ontario, Canada, Christian Keys. It was one year ago, November the 13th, 2005, when Christian Cage rocked the wrestling world by joining TNA. He defeated Chef Jared in February to become NWA World Heavyweight Champion, and he held the world's title for over four months before losing a King of the Mountain match where, quite honestly, Christian Cage was never pinned, he never submitted, but boy, since then, we've seen a totally different side of Christian Cage. You, you talk about a different attitude. You talk about a transformation. He became a man that wasn't afraid to turn on his own friends, people that he grew up with, people that he grew up in this business with. He became a man that was concerned about one thing and one thing only, and that was Christian Cage. For over a decade, Christian Cage and Rhino, great friends. They trained together, they traveled together, they socialized together. Christian Cage, he flushed 10 years of friendship right down the drain. And his opponent, from Detroit, Michigan, he is the War Machine, Rhino! It was two weeks ago here on Impact in a weapons or escape four corners pull match where Rhino, he gained possession of the key to the cage door. He's got it in his hand. He also won the straight jacket. But if you recall, Christian Cage, he won the bolt cutters and the two steel chairs. And you can see right there the officials taking the key and the straight jacket away from Rhino. The only way that they can get those, either the weapon or the means to escape the cage, is by asking the referees during the match, in which time they will slip it through the cage to him. You can see earlier the kid, Christian didn't bring his, the referees already had it, but this is gonna be a situation, Mike, where when will they ask for the weapons, and when will they try to get out of this cage? We've never had this style of cage match in TNA. You can go out the cage door. You can go over the top of the cage to get the win. You've got to touch the arena floor. This match, it's not about pinfalls. It's not about submissions. And just to think about this too, Mike, to get out of there and you can see Christian looking up top to go through that barbed wire. We've never had the barbed wire on top of the six sides of steel. And think of the damage it can do to your flesh. It can gouge your flesh and it can cause unbelievable pain. But that's what you've got to go through if you want to go over to the top. Now remember, Christian can call for the bolt cutters if he gets a chance. He'll need them to get through that barbed wire. That's the edge that he has. The bolt cutters and the steel chairs on, and those steel chairs have done so much damage to the War Machine Rhino during the course of this rivalry in the past few months. Oh, there's been times where we didn't think Rhino would be able to get into the ring. Unbelievable amounts of concussions. Doctors have not even given him permission to be in the ring here tonight. But Rhino doesn't care about that. All he cares about is getting his revenge on the former friend, the former partner, and somebody that he grew up with. But Rhino right now, all he cares about is inflicting pain and damage on Christian Cage. The war machine, Rhino from the Motor City, rocked in the corner with the knife edge chops from Christian Cage. Oh, but look at him turn it around. Series of chops. Oh, just opening up the flesh on the chest of Christian. Boy, it looks like Rhino just hitting him with that extra authority, but. Christian is always elusive. That's one thing you've got to give him. You've got to give him respect. You mentioned it earlier, Mike. He's never been pinned. He's never submitted. I mean, he's the guy who, who held that belt and actually didn't get beat personally to lose it. He's always held that on his mind. He's always used that to motivate him. Oh, Rhino went for the press slam, the quick reversal, and the inverted DDT. That's the answer from Christian Cage. It's interesting to hear how this crowd, this crowd that at one time cheered Christian Cage to to the point of no end. They loved him when he came in, and you can see Christian asking for the chairs right there. Referee Andrew Thomas slipping him in, but no. And now Rhino tries to grab him, but no, they can't give it to him. They have to hand him off to Christian Cage. But I want to mention that crowd that cheered Christian Cage religiously, and then they saw that transformation. They saw Christian Cage turn, and to this day, that crowd doesn't understand it, and they've not accepted him, and they let Christian Cage know whatever chance they get. Vicious shoulder block in the corner from the War Machine, and he's got Christian Cage on the defensive here. 
Look at him follow up the advantage. Gonna take Christian now, gonna set him up, and drive that big shot. Right hand, right into the side of the head. Gonna now shoot him across and back first into the corner. Oh, oh another he... shoulder block. Oh, he did, he nails him with that shoulder block. And Mike, something we need to mention to everybody, and for those of you that have never seen a six-sided steel cage, because of the six sides, it gives that cage no flexibility. As you hear the people going crazy, but that cage you'll watch, it doesn't have any give. That's something everybody talks about. When you hit that cage, it's like hitting a steel wall. This crowd here in the Impact Zone, absolutely on fire, Don. Right from the opening, you can see there, Christian up at the top of the cage. Oh, he felt that barbed wire, and he just dropped down to the mat, and there he goes. That time, face first, right into the steel. And you can see what I was talking about. He hit that, and watch this, right into it. And it's just like going right into a cheese grater, as it just, it, you hit it straight on. It is a vicious place to be in because there's no give whatsoever. From one side of the steel cage to the other, and there's a gorilla press slam, and he threw him again, face first, body first, right into the unforgiving mesh. I don't know how long that flesh can handle that. As you can see, Rhino now asking the referee, he's yelling for the key. He wants the key, because he's just gonna try to end this match this early. Just go ahead and let himself out the door. It's just that simple. Right. You're right. Open the cage door, walk out and touch the floor, and the war machine, Rhino's victorious. He's hesitating there right now as Christian Cage still hasn't gotten up. I mean, there's nothing to deter him from going right out of the cage. Almost as if he's having second thoughts. He's dangling the key right there in front of Christian Cage. Yeah, he's, he's taunting Christian Cage with the key, and Christian leaps for it, but he comes up just short. Playing mind games, and he throws it out! What's this? He tossed the key out of the cage! That means they gotta go through the barbed wire to escape! And welcome back, everyone, to the Prime Time Special, the innovation of TNA, total non-stop action wrestling. It's on display in this barbed wire, six sides of steel cage matchup involving a bloody Christian cage and the war machine rhino. Oh, you've gotta check this out. Ah, frog splash off the top! Well, you could see when we came back that Christian Cage had those bolt cutters cutting through the wire. And I show you what happened during the break. You could see there he was catapulted into the cage. Then he returned the favor on Rhino. He got the bolt cutters and he used them as a weapon, Mike. And then he went up top, cutting down the barbed wire. Almost got out. But these two bloody warriors now, it is just getting intense. Oh, you're not kidding. With the key out of play. The bolt cutters, that's the escape method for Christian Cage. And you can see where he snipped the barbed wire and he's got an opening. He's got to go over the top. He's got to make the way down the side of the cage and out of the floor and the war machine. Oh, look at him climb the side of the steel. Well, he's so close to getting over there if he can leap down, but that's a dangerous leap from that high up. And you can see Rhino down. Look at this. Ah! Rhino taking his head right into the barbed wire, rubbing the already bloody face. Christian Cage rising in pain. Look at that sight. It is gory. I'm telling you folks, if you're squeamish, you might not want to watch because it is absolutely a bloody Christian Cage. Blood flowing from the head and face of Christian Cage and oh! Oh, backdrop suplex by the war machine. That sent Christian Cage all the way across the ring. The crowd is absolutely going nuts. They're seeing something they've never seen here at Total Up Stop Action before. But that's what we do here on this primetime debut. We give you six sides of steel. We give you the barbed wire. And you can see Rhino asking for the straight jacket to see if he can use it to render Cage helpless. And Don, we also give you Kurt Angle, the Olympic gold medalist, the best damn wrestler on the planet. His TNA in-ring debut yet to come and all. Christian Cage escapes just as Rhino was gonna put him in the straight jacket. It's amazing that Christian Cage can keep going with the beating that he's taken. He's had that face grinded in the barbed wire. He's had it grinded in the cage, but he just keeps coming back. But every time he gets close and he's gonna try to get out of here again, Rhino's always there. Rhino not concerned about getting out. We saw that earlier when he threw the, the key outside of the cage. He's concerned about inflicting damage, but he better watch out because Cage is up at the top. What a battle this has been between these two warriors. The months and months of bad blood finally coming to a head here in this Impact Primetime Special. And Christian Cage not only fighting up on the top rope, but he's gonna try and use the barbed wire as a weapon. Well, he's had it happen to him. He knows what it feels like, but he just couldn't get any leverage right there. But look at that. He bounces Rhino's head off the pole. No way is he setting him up for the unprettier on the exactly top rope. exactly what he's gonna do. No, oh, my man, God. and he throws it down right into the mat. You gotta 
gotta be kidding me right there. If there is any chance, guys, any chance whatsoever, you've got to show us a replay on this. Unbelievable, and prettier right there from the top row. It was that last ounce of strength from Christian Cage. I'm prettier from the top. And he took the war machine down, but look at the amount of blood flowing from the head and face of Christian Cage. You gotta wonder how much he's got left, these two warriors beating each other to death. And you can see Christian just falling back. He's going on sheer willpower. Rhino right there also has to realize that now Christian Cage has a straight jacket and has a chance to use it on him. Oh, they're rocking the impact zone here at Universal Studios in Orlando, Florida. It is awesome, and Christian Cage has got Rhino. Oh, and he's got him on the verge of locking him up in the straitjacket. You can hear the crowd. They know they're a part of history. They can feel that they're a part of history. They're seeing it right here as TNA makes his debut, and Rhino fighting away, knowing that if he gets those hands tied, it could be the end of it for him, because how will he stop Christian Cage? From leaving. And he's not only got the straight jacket arms tied together, he's got them tied together over the top rope. Oh, he's de he's defenseless at this point. Christian the war Cage machine's in right trouble. Out. Oh, he's gonna try and escape now. Wait a minute, he's looking back. I think he realizes he's got him helpless. Oh no, could he be doing what I think? Yes. I think he's he, calling for the chairs. He's calling for the chairs. We've seen him inflict so much damage with those chairs. And Rhino's helpless right here. There's nothing he can do about this. It was almost like a light bulb went off above the head of Christian Cage. He had second thoughts just as he was going to escape the six sides of steel, just as he was going over the top. He decided no, he's got the war machine defenseless and he's got steel chairs, look out! Oh, what a boot right there by Rhino as he kicks it right in the groin! That'll stop him, you can see Rhino fighting and he does get loose! Christian Cage had his moment and he should have maybe taken it to get out because now Rhino's loose and you can see he's fired up! It was a desperation move, but it's what he had to do! Series of clotheslines, Cage shot off, oh! Spinebuster by Rhino! Oh, he just hit that with a sickening thud. You can just hear Cage hit that mat. And you gotta realize that Christian Cage can't have anything left. The momentum has turned right here. Christian Cage could have escaped, but he wanted to put it into Rhino, and it cost him. And now Rhino's got the chair. Straight jackets off. Oh, yeah, how about a little concerto for you, Christian Cage? And you know Rhino, who's been on the receiving end of these six, six steel chair shots, once again, some payback, and oh, Christian just rolled out of the way. Oh, he did. He waited to the last possible second. Oh, and he's able to use it to counter it, and now he gets the shots right on Rhino, and that backfired on Rhino. What a back and forth action this match has been, as these guys know each other so well. Now, what's he gonna do? Gonna set those two chairs in position, gonna take a dazed Rhino. No! Oh. No! Gonna go for the unprettier! It's gonna end it right there! No, Rhino's countered! Oh, but Christian Cage able to get out! But look at this! Rhino's got him up here! Oh, he's got it where he wants it! And there oh. you go! Face first right into the steel! He also took a gut shot on the top of that chair! Could have broken some ribs! I mean, this is a war! Look at the blood! It's just a battle! What an incredible matchup! Six sides of steel! Barbed wire! Cage match! Christian Cage and Rhino! Oh, this has been everything we expected and more! I, you gotta wonder what's going through Christian Cage's mind, if he can even think at all. We know what's going through Rhino's. He's setting up right there! Get him! He's looking for a gore! Gore him! Get him! Oh, no! Toss the chair, and he got it right back in the face! He just slammed that chair right back at Christian Cage! Right now, Rhino's got the momentum, and you can feel it! He's looking at the crowd! He's beating off of the Gore! 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 He gored him right through the cage! Ladies you hear the bell! The first man to reach the floor! Christian the Cage has won it! He won it by default! And Rhino cost himself by goring him right through the cage door! Oh, we'll have to see the end of that again! What a finish! Rhino absolutely hits him with what he wanted to, but he hit him so hard he put him right through the cage. Rhino looking over the prone body of Christian Cage. We're gonna take another look at the incredible action in this match. And here it is, right through the ropes and right through the cage. Pretty simple. Christian Cage, you may have won the battle, but Rhino, he won the war.